Welcome back to the channel guys. It is me 80 smooth for four. So today I'm gonna do my quick match review of Ivory Coast to Guinea Bissau nil Ivory Coast man Remember guys, this is a team I picked to win this year's AFCON Ivory Coast for me look just looks so solid when you look at the team they have on paper is outstanding Fafana, Kessie uh, Sangare Diomde Indica It's it's amazing and Ivory Coast for me, they were fantastic in this game. And then the goals they scored were very good goals. That first goal, man, what a thunderbolt that was from Singa. Um, sorry, from Fofana. Fofana got the goal there. I was going to say Singari. It was actually Fofana. Fofana opened the score with a beautiful goal. Beautiful goal. Golazo, man. Golazo. And then the second goal, man, um, was scored by uh, Q. Um, let me okay. Let me make sure I get this player's name correct because I don't want to butcher the guy's name. So let me do it. It's a player that I don't really know very well. So. He scored a very good goal there. The ball, the way he was able to control the ball with his, you know, control the ball. Crasso, Crasso scored. It was a really good goal. The team play for the combination for the second goal was nice. As for Ivory Coast, man, they're they're definitely up there. As for contenders, they are definitely up there. As for Guinea Bissau, for me, they were good in the day. But the issue for Guinea Bissau, in my opinion, was they just didn't have enough quality in the final third and. Unfortunately, Sangate did make a mistake. I think it was for the first goal. I think Sangate made a mistake for the first goal there. He should have done better there. And yeah, Guinea-Bissau, man, they just don't have enough quality in the final third. Because I think defensively, they were actually decent on the day. And I think their midfield was good. But the attack was just rubbish. The attack was rubbish. And so, it's going to be very interesting to see how Guinea-Bissau do. Because for me, for this team, it's round 16 at most. I don't think this team has more than a round of 16 in them. And that's about as max as I can see. Because... Guinea Bissau, as I said, their defense is all right, but their goal scoring is a big issue. And I don't know if, because they, because I think the important match for them is the Equatorial Guinea match. The Equatorial Guinea match is going to be the decisive match. And that if they could win that game, because remember, it's head to head. Head to head is a tiebreaker, not goal difference. Then they have as themselves a chance. As for Ivory Coast, they're in a great position with this win. And if they get another win, which they'll be playing next against Nigeria, we'll see what Nigeria does tomorrow against Equatorial Guinea. Ivory Coast could do something, man. Ivory Coast, for me, minimum semifinals. Ivory Coast have to at least get the semis for me. If any anything less than a semifinals for Ivory Coast would be a failure. A failure for this team. Because this Ivory Coast team is stacked in terms of talent and everything. The one concern I do have with this team is that I don't think that attack is that amazing. And so I do think they need Sebastian Haller. Because I think Haller will be more I think Haller will be able to provide more than Crasso. I know Crasso had a good game today. But I don't know how Krasso can do this for a consistent amount of games. You know, I think it's just one really good game he had. So, Holler for me, it's going to be interesting to see how long Holler is out for. Because for me, they really need Holler for those knockout stage games. Especially knockouts. And then Dingra for me is another big blow. Another big miss. And so, for, yeah, for Ivory Coast, man. I mean, they can bring players like Pepe off the bench. Boli as well off the bench. You know, and Pepe should have scored that third goal, by the way. That chance he had. So, yeah, man, those are my quick thoughts on the game, man. Not really much else to say other than Ivory Coast very dominant win. And let's see what the let's see what they can do in this year's AFCON, man. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. If you made it this far, please remember to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.